Welcome back to the Democratic Saga. Rook's caravan is not that far away, but they're heading to Aberang. Seems like everyone's headed for the capital these days, the small village's baker says. I figure it's just as well to stay put. We've got enough around here to survive, even with the king cutting off trade. I have no idea what's about to happen. Everything's fine. We're not about to die. You're testing your bowstring and only half listening to the man when Hakon walks up. The baker, unaccustomed to Val, Varl, falls quiet and backs up. The capital's only a few days away now. I know. Would like to not have any more problems, but... You laugh a little, but notice the distant look in Hakon's eyes as he looks toward the Varl tents. I wonder what the old kings like Throster and Screamier would do in my place. Two is ahead. They would have kept their people alive, same as you. We did lose a lot of people in the old wood. That was last stream. <clears throat> it's like Ivor told me, you can't prepare for a giant serpent attacking. There you go. No matter what happens, protect your people. Hakon looks at you, the confusion leaving his face. Maybe it'll be as easy as you make it sound. You give the Varl an encouraging smile. It's the best you can do. Oh, there's a conversation with Nid. Let's take a look at our status here. Hey, thanks for the follow. That's a good that's some good status. This party was doing a little better than the other one. Also we have a lock of hair. <gasps> Plus one, all talent ranks, two willpower. <laughs> nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. To level eight. I feel like Rook's Caravan has an easier time, slightly. Oh, hang on. Sneeze. <coughs> Nid's boys are just finishing eating and starting to play when you approach her. <laughs> are they getting plenty to eat? Probably not. Oh, Trig V is totally dead, yeah. Without allowing you to refuse, she puts a spoon in a bowl with cooked eggs in your hands. Nice. You take a bite. They're good, but you don't taste anything special. <laughs> oh no, what do we say about the eggs? Guys, this, this is a really important decision, so... I want you to think very carefully before deciding... Two days to the capital. I hope nothing goes wrong. Eggs. <laughs> How are my eggs? I don't. Uh, I don't know. Are they good? I think they're pretty good. I'm not really an egg guy. Answer wrong, and you get a knife <clears throat> to the back, and forty people die. <laughs> Nid dies. Her family dies. Everyone dies. <laughs> yep. The most important decision of the game. Here it is. One is slightly ahead. They taste just like eggs. Wow, how did you make them taste like eggs? How did you do that? That's impressive. I can never do that. My eggs always taste like, I don't know, broccoli. It's weird. Looks like one is just barely ahead. Her eyes look down with embarrassment. 
Oh. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. The archer starts smiling. They really are just eggs. My mother used the family recipe story on each of us at one time or another when we wouldn't eat. Why are you confused here, Rook? That is a thing that all moms do. She tried to guilt you into eating? Yeah, so you don't starve to death. So where a family doesn't die. That's what moms have to do. They have to lie to their children because kids are stupid. She tried anything and everything to raise us. Feed us. Keep us from getting into too much trouble. That's their job, Rook. And now she's using the line, and she understands. She understands now. You think back on all the choices you've made. Yeah, we understand and appreciate it. Eventually. Yeah, that's why you're still kids, because you're stupid. Gotta lie to you. Thanks, Ned. Alright, how's the market look? Bear, what is this, what is this 10 rank thing? Plus three, all talent ranks, one strength attack, one break. There it is. The Omni Trinket. Two exertion talent ranks, one range distance, plus 10% critical. That's real nice. Two all talent ranks, one will per turn. Rank seven. We do have a rank seven, don't we? I think it's oddly, but she's already got something. No, we've got Hakon and Mogar. We've got some room for advancement here. Still, though, we need food. Oh, they only have eight food. Huh. I see. Yeah, the other team is very low on trinkets. That's unfortunate, but... I don't know. I'm thinking about getting the brooch. What would it replace? Two, two will, two strength. Okay, so we would remove one will, one strength, but increase our crit, our armor divert. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to buy that. We'll be able to use it immediately, so for once it seems worth it. He is on spend points. Does he? Yeah. Shit, I must have uh, forgotten to confirm. Whoops. Okay, well, here you go, Hakon. Have a ball. Now we are at rank three. Still has unspent points. I didn't confirm. You did it again. Yep. We can give him 30% crit chance. I'll give him 25 and then give him an extra willpower. Okay, confirmed. Now, to confirm what uh, what things we're going to spec into, because I think this does count, uh, we'll give him 20% chance to resist two armor damage. We will also give him willpower regen. chance to avoid strength attacks and puncture hack on i pity anyone who has to fight you hmm where is luden why is luden grayed out Oh, because he's in the battle. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. 
missing someone from this party that we usually have. Did someone die recently? Or no, this is the party that no, has the wizards left. Right. <clears throat> that's a that's a problem. Well then. I guess that's all we're gonna get out of this. We're not far from Aberang. The wall continues to advance. It is eaten Boris Guard. Goodbye, Boris Guard. You are you were gone now. Man, everything's gone. Half of the world is just gone. Right, Ivan and Juno went to Manahar to solve the problem. We're supposed to wait for them. The carts just, stout, just start moving away from the village. When you hear a girl shout, Papa? You turn to see where she is looking and gasp. From the east, over ground you recently crossed, comes a large number of missing clansmen, fighters, and Varl. Is that Ruga? Someone asks. At the front of the group is the former governor of Barsgard. Husbands run out to their wives and children scream in excitement for the parents they believe to be dead. You make your way out to greet the group as well, but Ruga holds up his hand as you near. What do you want? It's hard as ever to read the governor's face, and Dagger naturally says nothing. I hope you didn't get all cleaned up for me, Rook. Was it too much for you to just die when that serpent struck? Also, yeah, Rook shaved. You can tell now. <laughs> you seem to be hard to kill as well. Remember that. His tone is not exactly threatening, but not warm, either. You decide what to say next. Number one, thanks for getting everyone back together. Number two, where'd you go after the serpent attack? Three, you need to rest? You need to sit down for a while? You okay? Number four, I'm going to speak to people who aren't you. None of these will play out well, huh? <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow, Minnie. We're talking to Rugga. There's no right answer. Yeah, punch Rugga. Kill Rugga. That's the answer. One is the first. Yeah, people are just defaulting to, hey, thanks. It, you did a good thing, I guess you did. You, you, good job. <clears throat> Our clan? Is that really what we are? One clan? Rook is just insistent. Not even a dialogue choice. Yeah, that's actually what we are. You may not get that, but we're working together, to an extent, even if you're an asshole. Ruga knows what's about to come. We're close. Families have long memories. Hatred can span generations. Don't be surprised if petty arguments and bad blood rule the day. See, that's the thing humans are best at. And we're about to go talk to the king of humans. Oh, we can... Oh, we can say more of these. I apologize. Dagger and I tried to save a few families before running. God, I love this guy's... Look at this guy's fucking beard. Look at his, his hair in Echel every direction. It is. This is Echel like 20 years later. But still crazy. <clears throat> You glance at the silent guard, but he neither confirms nor denies the story. The old wood was like a maze, but we finally escaped picking up others along the way. We waited for you till we were damn near out of food. So it seemed like they had to go back and forth between the vi those villages in the wood. Same with us, but our scouts never returned. Rugga scratches the scar around his neck. That's odd. Neither did ours. Here we are, most of us still alive. You, you, you need to sit down a little bit? Oh no, Rugga's only a servant of the people. He doesn't actually need rest. His tone is strange, like he's been rehearsing this statement along with that unnerving grin. Sure, you could use a little rest, right? Eh. 
You glance at Dagger and get nothing but his stony gaze in return. Alright, bye now. <clears throat> oh, before you do... Dagger shifts slightly. You are shocked by how much small change puts you on guard. It's not that you're a bad man, Rook, but you've made some bad choices. The ships, the bogs, and Lundar. Even in the old wood. What clan, or, what clan leader leaves half his people behind, scattered and scared? You would now notice the fighters gathered behind him. You're a danger to these people. I hope you understand why you have to die. Dagger lunges at you, but an arrow slams into his shield, disrupting his attack. As you fall back in a defensive posture, you nod to Oddleaf, who is knocking another arrow. Here we go. It's about time for this to happen. <clears throat> I guess the question is, who is the last character we use here? Maybe Aleo. Feel good about Aleo. At last, kill Rogan. Finally here. Yep. Let's just check my trinkets here. Two armor, one strength resist. That's pretty good. Rook has the break one. Oddleaf also... Okay, Oddleaf also has break talent. Two ranged... Oh, right. She has the range. She is... She is very dangerous. Mogar has the strength resist and the aggro. Yeah. This is also a very... This is a very good team. Very solid team. Aleo's the weak link, but he can support. He hasn't learned his other ability yet. He needs another rank. I wonder if it's a good one. Oh, if Rook dies in this fight? Okay. Well, gonna have to... Gonna have to avoid that. We're surrounded, huh? Okay, I will say this. There aren't that many of them. Two, six... Eight of them. Assassin. Oh, they've got some Yurses with them. They've got some Slag and Burn. They've also got some Cragsmen. There's Dagger. He's a backbiter. Alright. I think if I slam real hard into the main force here, I can finish this quickly. And maybe have Hakon... No, Hakon will not get to the rest of the fight if he does that. No, we're going to handle this very quickly. This formation's a bit risky, but... Yeah, let's just completely remove Dagger's armor. I like that idea. Yeah, go ahead, hit him in return. Now you have three armor instead of what you had before. Also, Tempest is not a great idea here, so I guess I'll do Sundering Impact. These guys are pretty sturdy. Five armor damage! That's dangerous. You can't have that. I really need to hurt that guy. <clears throat> wow, they've got a lot of range. Oh, right, that's because of Bird of Prey, yeah. All right. At least everyone who betrays Rook, at least, like, backhandedly warns him first. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they absolutely do. Just take him aside for a moment to be like, hey, did you, uh, is your schedule clear for any, any reason? <laughs> nice. Look at this hit, is, oddly, is can get. Else... Oh, yeah, that's it's some good times. She can't move, though, anyone right? Else? You got a crime you today? Are you free for that? Goodbye, Dagger.
Everyone gets willpower. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Get fucked. Are you kidding me? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. I am sorry. You do not get to cheese me. No. Absolutely not. Wait, is this where we were? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, no. You don't get to do that. Chapter 14, brother fight and kinship stain. In chapter 14, you get traitored by the people right next to you. Uh, it's traitor time. Welcome to traitor chapter. Everyone betray everyone. God, I can't believe Axe Storm is the thing that just ended me. I think that was the same choice we made. I did. Hey, thanks for the follow. Really good. I think your family's onto something here. Really? You think so? Yeah. You could set up an egg shop. They're just eggs, Rook. You idiot. You moron. The regular eggs. I just wanted to show that off. Oh yeah, yeah. In an earlier conflict, you can, you can, uh, you can go in with Rugga on a plan, and Dagger will join you. Now let's see. I've got seventeen renown. What would I do with that if I did not buy that trinket? <clears throat> I would probably. Oh no, there's nothing really to do there. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing I did this time. Nah, let me take care of something. I'll be right back in a minute. Right. I mean, the game auto saves, so it, it, it's kind of why I can't really plan for that. What the hell were my trinkets? Right. Gave him that. You had the break. Oddleaf is good. He's good. Aleo. I have the willpower, I guess. I mean, there is no save function. It's an autosave. That's how the game works.
could just give could just give uh, Rook the avoid everything, but no, he's not high enough level. Different formation this time. Considerably easier formation too. There's no one with Axe Storm here that I can see. The Thrashers might have it if they're, you know, high enough level. <clears throat> yeah. That's a move. That's a first move. to be here. I want to get that spin, the first spin. <clears throat> they don't have the units that caused the problem last time. That's why I'm not that worried. They don't have the Kragsmen. There's Dagger. Yeah, this is the move I wanted. Just deflate one of their flanks immediately. Nice! Nice! That archer's dead. Hey, Dagger, what's up? Let's make him wear himself out. Oh, Aleo taking a huge hit. Yeah, this guy's dead. God, why are you moving so far? Ah. Humans. I think Aleo might be able to knock that one out. I forget how far those guys can move, but I don't really have a lot of space to sit. Alright, that one's down. <clears throat> yeah, I need to move back and hurt that guy. Can I battering ramp? No, that's not what I wanted to do, but fine, whatever. That was a misclick. Okay, I can get back in the fight here. Nice! Artery strike. That guy's dead. That guy is so dead. Dagger. Little hurt. Little fatigue for some reason. Are you okay, dude? How about you? Oddleaf is down. Not really surprising. I'm gonna get Rook out of here. <laughs> you're gonna go far away where you're safe. Away from here. Do that. You guys do that. Because <clears throat> I'm about to run you guys over. Still trying to kill Aleo, but it's not going to happen. Not, at least, without a few more turns. 
Mogar is print. Uh, no, wait. I can avoid targeting him? Right, clockwise. Double kill. <clears throat> yeah, Oddleaf is a bit fragile, and in a battle against humans, uh, she tends to get knocked out. It just kind of happens. <clears throat> Luden has done really good at just neutralizing one of their flanks. The one with Dagger in it is actually really good. Very helpful. I guess Rook should move over in this direction where he can start hurting this lady. Here you go. Oh no, all of your armor is gone. Whoops. <laughs> this is useless to everyone, but here, here you go. gonna say a nice thing about Luden to make him feel better. So he fights harder. Just enough. What now, Ruga? He was not in that fight. Okay, only one injury. That's acceptable. The sound of fighting is replaced with wailing as family members recognize their fallen kid. Rugga, you shout, disgusted by the needless bloodshed he forced you into. So he brought back these families together so he could traitor you and watch them kill each other. Yep, retrieved half of all of these families, so they and then convince them to try to murder you. He's gone, Hakon says. Early in the fighting, he slipped away, but we caught his man Dagger. Tuvaro lead the bound, silent assassin into the middle of everyone. Rocks and yaks dung are hurled at him. Hakon looks at you. Either you handle this or I do. That's, yeah, that's correct. Human problem. This is a human problem. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Luden, can we put on a quick show trial? Make this an official? <laughs> this guy did a crime. You were there. You saw him try to crime me. The sentence is death. Kill Dagger. I was waiting for a sound. You betrayed us, you shout, and all the clansmen back you with a roar of anger. Rugga wanted control and used the lives of everyone here to get it, and you helped him. The man's silence infuriates you. There is mercy for there is no mercy for you. No quick death. You grab a blade from the ground and drive it through Dagger's body. His only sound is a grunt of pain. You nod to Hagon, who easily lifts the man and hooks Dagger on a stout branch by his armor. The clansmen curse and spit at Dagger or tend to their fallen. And you leave them to it. We just left him on a tree. Five are now. Much better outcome if you ask me. <clears throat> so, five days of food. We've got plenty of clansmen, plenty of fighters, and quite a bit of Varl, too. There's a lot. We've got a lot of stuff here. Anything else in training? I think we've got the lat. No, we have we have finished training. Oddleaf is injured, but only for two days. That's that's fine. That fight went perfectly well. Let's continue. Yes, crucify him. That is the answer. 
It's a solid move. Yeah, it is. The water in nearby streams is gradually turning a bright green in places. It looks like the gore from the serpent's wounds. Dead fish are spotted in the dozens floating by the f floating by in the faster moving sections. Some clansmen have fallen ill, others are feeling the effects of only drinking mead. Oh god. That's ugh. You get so dehydrated. When a few varls spot a section of clear water, the entire caravan gets excited. But the giants hold them back and tell everyone to listen. Thanks for the follow. A faint tune is drifting across the water. No, from the water. Worried whispers ask, what's it mean? Or is it safe? Or, I don't care, I'm thirsty. Number one, let the caravan drink. Number two, drink it first, before everyone else. Number three, fill a few barrels and boil it. Or number four, get away from it. We'll, we'll be in Aberang soon. <laughs> Little do you know, boiling the blood makes it... Uh, I don't know, actually. Boiling makes it more poisonous. Three is... Oh, no, it's a tie. It's a tie between two and three. Drink it first, or boil it. I'll wait for a tiebreaker. There it is. Boil it. <clears throat> nope. Nope. There it is. There's another one. By, by the arbitrary rules I've decided, we are back in a tiebreaker. Yeah, if you boil it, you boil the music off, and then you don't get the music. Why would you not want... Okay, there it is. But what if you can distill the music out of it? Yeah. Let's, let's drink it first. You cup the clear water in your hands and drink it. It tastes cleaner than the well water from your home, village of Skogar. Everyone is waiting for your verdict. You turn and smile. Fifteen renown. Drink, you shout. We may not get another chance like this. The caravan rushes the water, ignoring the tune. They drink deeply, fill barrels, and even wash themselves a bit. Aleo thanks the memory of the god Asile. Nice. Extra renown is helpful. We have a good amount of clansmen, and they're keeping us alive in terms of food. The surrounding woods look promising for game, and you can use a bit of solitude. Soon deer tracks guide you, but in a clearing, the beast has already fallen. Scanning the woods, you hear and see something. As you approach the deer, you can tell the, ki the kill was recent. A black stone, half the size of your fist, lays beside the animal. You pick it up, knowing it to be a dredge weapon. A rustle in the underbrush nearby reveals two hurlers who immediately create deep noises. They are communicating. Then one lashes out and attacks you. <clears throat> oh, solo fight. Solo fight versus two hurlers. I think we can handle this. Yeah, we've got plenty of break damage, so as long as we get the jump on these guys. I don't know, where's our option to back out of this? I mean, it's their deer. They got it first. <laughs> now we're just being rude. Let me back up one step. There we go. Right, I don't have a whole lot of willpower for this, so I need to make it count. It's also kind of helpful that they run away after they get hit. Because then I can break both their armor without too much consequence. And then hit them in the next two turns. Okay, they cannot do a ton of damage to me right now. I should be able to wear them down. Yeah, they called dibs. We can't actually... We can't do anything about this. Look at how... What is that? Like a 12-point buck? What the hell? <laughs> There's a lot of horns on that thing. 
And we've seen them taking animals elsewhere. It seems mm -hmm. to be that they eat the same things people do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, in fact, the first time you see the dredge, it's hunting, it's starving, and, you, and Rook and Alette fight one by themselves. So you know they need food, and they don't have a whole lot of it. They are constantly searching for food. Could be an elk. Yeah, maybe. Not sure what they based it off of. Also, that's a lot of bombs in the ground, but none of them are going to detonate. <laughs> it's a yelk. <laughs> Good job, Rook. You won a solo fight. Way to go. As the dredge fall, others from your clan arrive. Not bad, a woman says, booting one of the dredge bodies. A child runs up and does the same. Number one, hey, stop that. They're hungry. Also, they're probably like mothers, just like hunting for food for their kids. That is very likely. We just killed some... We, we fucked up a couple families just now. Number two, let's find more and kill them as well. Three, just say nothing. We've been at this for quite a while. There's nothing left to say. <laughs> the other option's climbing back up real fast. Say nothing is pulled ahead. Respect for the dead, that's right. That is correct. I think that's pretty clear. Say nothing. You and another hunter grab the body of the deer and walk away. While most of the others follow you, a few remain behind. Kicks and curses are delivered at the dredge bodies, a release of anguish for those who have lost loved ones. Five supplies. Still keeping our morale up. Strumming from Aleo and song from a large number of your clansmen surprises you. Avarl stands in the center of them, blushing. It's Skari's 200th year, Avarl besides you shouts. The rest of the caravan is slowing to check out the commotion. 200 years of life. Sorry, I ended the poll. There we go. We're good. Number one, break out the meat and celebrate. Man, we haven't celebrated anything in a long time. Two, make a toast to the Varl. Three, congr <laughs> to three, congratulations, but we don't have time for that. Looks like we're going to make a toast. Eh, one might come back. Let's give it a few seconds. Yeah, it seems pretty decided. Tuscari, you start. You've already lived longer than any human here will. May your bravery and strength continue so that you share drinks with the grandchildren of our grandchildren. Not your grandchildren, you don't have those. Skari looks at you and nods. I'll tell him of your bravery and strength. Everyone drinks and laughs and continues on. More renown. It's starting to make me a little nervous. Feels like they're preparing us for a conflict. The caravan slows at the sight of the field gate bridge. In front of it is a large army of horseborn in formation, weapons drawn. Skahawk, are these your people? Your clan or herd? Skahawk shakes his head but does not speak. His eyes scour the new herd. Hakon calls for shield walls as a precaution. Just as shields lock, a single javelin flies from the center of the horseborn army. Everyone watches it arc through the air and stab the ground only yards from you. The ground rumbles and the horseborn charge. Here we go. It's time for horse conflict. Damn it. Oddly, it still hurt. I'll leave strength would be at seven. That would be pretty bad. What does Gris do again? He's 15 and 15. He's got battering ram. Return the favor. Right. He's a defensive guy. <clears throat> I 
I could use one of the horses. One of the better ones. Maybe the archer? Or I could just turtle up and use bear sea. Actually, you know what? Let's have Aleo sit out. We'll play very defensively and also bring in Yersa. I can give Yersa the Farthing Yord or the Obsidian Ring. Probably the Farthing Yord and use her to break and have the other guys just do tons of damage. I like that idea because then it doesn't matter how much strength she has. I could get Aleo's next skill. Let's see. Does he promote? Yeah, he chooses a second ability. Hmm. Well, I've got enough. I can do it and just give it to him. Insult. To move them from... I see. Yeah. If that's it, then I'm going to leave that for now. Yursa. Yursa can get a second ability. She can get Bird of Prey to get extra uh, range. Or... The trap. A different trap. Hmm. Hmm. I'll, you, I'll take the rain of arrows. Bonus crit chance. feel like I should give out some more levels here. But to who? Am I going to use Gris again? He's 15 and 15, which is pretty good, but... I didn't confirm the points. Thank you for telling me. I always forget. I'll give her the extra armor. I think I might have given her the willpower, but yeah, the armor seems important. Let's give him two will, two strength. How about that? Luden is still pretty good with extra armor and strength resist. That is helping him quite a bit. this on the field. I'm considering switching some trinkets, but I think this should do it. Yeah. Chris will have 17 strength. That's nothing to sneeze at. Ah, a bridge battle. <clears throat> Gonna have... Mm, the three Varl may have been a poor choice for this one. Well, then again, if I block... Well, yeah, actually. Yeah, the, the broken battlefield limits their ability to wiggle around. In You're the right. Engineers. Yeah, this is, uh, this is okay. This could work out for us. I'm gonna move up <clears throat> and just block their path. You learn we are strong! Yet yeah, we know. I had a lot of trouble killing you the first time I tried. I think we have enough room to move three Varl side by side here, which is good. It's just enough room. Luden may have to... No, no, Luden can be across the pit there. Yeah, go ahead, take your retreat. Luden may be a little useless early on in this fight, but we'll see how that works out. Yeah, go ahead. Put yourself behind my line. That's a good idea. Welcome. Welcome. <clears throat> to pain. We have pain.
Huh? I'm sorry, we don't speak horse. They are really... They really do not like Hakon, though. That's a good decision on their part, but... I shouldn't have locked Luden in there. That was a terrible idea. Wow, they really hate Hakon. They've actually kind of neutralized him a bit. Oh, Mogar is stuck. I see. They are all going through my line. Which, okay. Because then I can do this. I mean, it's not a ton of damage, but... Nice. One horse in particular is shouting orders to the rest of them. We cannot target that one, though. Alright, Luden can advance. Yeah. Nah, I gotta break his armor a bit. Or hit him with someone else. Wouldn't impale kind of auto murder him with bleeding when he only has six health left? I think he's still gonna move anyway. That's the thing. Well, I mean, he can. He'll, he'll get to move, yeah, but I don't think it'll move far enough. The, my problem with impale is that it does not do enough sliding. I could have done that, yeah. I did not. Uh, right, break. Need to break them. You guys have chosen poorly, and now... Now you will reap the benefits. Might as well finish this one off. It doesn't cost me any willpower. Also, I can't go forward from there, so... Yeah, yeah confirm with you as well. <laughs> did, did she say confirm? I don't know what she said, alright? Just, I don't understand these things. That gun's probably gonna hang back a bit take care of these guys. Mogar is almost out of armor. Gris, please kill this thing. Nice. <clears throat> okay, Mogar is starting to take damage. Good resist. That could have been bad. Luden. We don't really have a shot right now, and if we do... Yeah, let's just rest. I will take a hit. Fine. I think maybe I should have fallen back. I'm starting to get a little spread out more than I want to be. Here you go, guys. Nice. 
Nice. That was a complete waste of your turn, my friend. All right, now we got to start moving forward, I think. There's still two guys behind us, but... Hopefully we can finish them off. Ow. Yeah, Hakon will handle this. I just need one more attack from either Yursa or Rook to knock this guy's armor down. Can I draw them in if I move back a bit? I bet I can. Luden's gonna move back a little. Yeah, we'll take some armor damage, fine. Oh, wow, they've got range. Impressive range, actually. It's actually a bit of a problem. Ah, she has joined the fight. Canary. At last, bird horse. Yeah, <laughs> horse bird. <clears throat> nah, you're not gonna hurt Yursa like that. She's pretty tough. Nope. That guy was stunned. That's okay, Hakon gets to... Yeah. Hakon took a ton of hits, but still, hanging in there. Gris is just taking unnecessary damage here. I'm not doing so well with this. At the front line here, that javelin is a problem. Canary has put herself in danger, but has killed Mogar. Hmm. All right. Okay, I've got an idea. Here you go. Go over in that direction for me. Thank you. Now, Rook is in position. Destroy that armor. All right. Luden taking some damage, but... I think we can hold out. If I use more willpower, I can... No, I'll remove her armor. Zero armor. Yes. You do that. Canary likes to move around a whole lot. Not very good for her situation. All right, Luden, we need to get you out of there. You are kind of just taking damage. All right, Canary, goodbye. And that's the battle. We lost Mogar. That's not terrible. A slight cream-colored horse born with flaxen hair steps out of the ranks of the wounded. Her blue war paint stands out against her otherwise yellow coloration. The remaining horse born showed deference to her. She says a, th a few things in the foreign tongue of her people, but stops when she sees you do not understand. Forgiveness, she says fluently. I speak to you. You have my weapon. Welcome. Join the team. Sorry for fight, not know it you. What? She speaks your language with confidence. Who are you? Woo! 
Oh, thanks for the thanks for the host, Rejax. The next word is long, shrill, and confusing, but certain sound, sounds stand out. Canary? Canary smiles and stomps the ground rhythmic, rhythmically with a hoof. That's easy, yeah. Because we cannot say horse names, ever, apparently. Canary. And Rook. Good greetings. Our stories tell of stranger who come help us. Two way, two legs that walk along four. My kind with you already. She points to the horse born in your ranks. Number one, that doesn't make me the stranger in your stories. Number two, how am I supposed to help you? And number three, I should kill you. You kind of tried to, you, you, you tried to kill us. I think we need to know more here. It's, it's not clear if this is like prophecy stories or local news stories. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll go to... How am I supposed to help? Save us. We look strong, but weak against... She searches for the words, but can only point all around. When sun stops and planes break and a god appears, follow two legs that walk along four. This is our story. We hold true. You see these things. She's not wrong. Apocalypse. Welcome. The sun has stopped, and I've seen the ground breaking, but what god are you talking about? Large snake. Not from this plane. <laughs> not not from this plane. What a good... What a good double meaning there. The serpent. It certainly could be a god. You lead us. We follow. Canary looks at you with a steady gaze instead of the constant movement you experience with Durdrio. Her body language is a bit different. Number one, warn her that not everyone likes horseborn. Number two, you can join but keep your distance. And three, we can't feed your people. That actually may be true. All of these options seem kind of mean. This horse person is all just, The prophecy! You're the prophecy! We've been waiting for you. Sorry for trying to kill you. I was just so excited. I couldn't stop throwing javelins into your face. Looks like we should just let her know. By the way, not the most popular. <clears throat> Most of the horseborn we've met have caused us harm, including you. Yeah. <laughs> Not today, but different day. Herds fight, but forget. Humans remember things a long time. Varl even longer. Herd believes leader. We follow you. Heard grow strong. Pretty simple. Just follow, follow the prophecy. She bows again, motions to her people, and all the horseborn join your ranks at a respectful distance. Nice. Uh, oh, she's not in the party. I thought she was in the party. That's weird. Well, whatever. We have time to rest. No, we really don't. We really do not. We've got four days of supplies. Yeah, she does seem a bit more human. Or maybe has spent more time around humans. Learn their language a bit better. Had some more experience with them. Good. Clansman foraging is keeping us... Just above a threshold. They say the moon and stars are always visible when you look at Lega's godstone. 
How can that be true? The moon her spirit, the stars her eyes, Leo says, plucking a few strings of his instrument. Lauga, the god of beauty and of, well, of things that happen in the night. The, sky, the skald smiles. The gods may be dead, but my wife still play, prays to Lauga. I'm thankful for her piety. The skald is not the only one smiling. A quick look around reveals grins throughout the caravan. I see why Aberang has grown so quickly over the years, you say, and the skald laughs. A truth spoken in front of Laga's stone is supposed to ripple through the night, either strengthening a lover's resolve or carrying away undesired affection. Aleo skips away to find his wife. In the shadow of Laga's godstone, Oddleaf taps you on the shoulder. Very pretty. Yeah, we're pretty close to Aberang now. We're almost there. Both, I guess. Job well done, Rook. You deserve a reward. Number one, everyone's everyone's alive. That's all I need. Number two, it's not over yet. Number three. Blah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's the avalanche of threes. There we go. A couple of ideas, yes. Okay, now now Rook has to be, yeah, all right. <laughs> you have to be absolutely sure. <laughs> you want to know. Are you absolutely sure? Or Grin is telling. Hang on, let me just start the poll and, um, uh, do I even bother the vote here? Hey, thanks for the bits. Not some old scratch. Much appreciated. Every bit counts. Yes, okay. I was going to just... I was going to skip the vote for this, because... <laughs> but, yeah. I'm absolutely sure. Good, but I can't really tell you here. No? Eileaf uh, slowly shakes her head, her eyes never leaving yours. Alright, gonna have to go scout out... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Every bit, yes, even that bit. That single bit, thank you. Others see you smiling and watch the two of you disappear. People will talk, but who cares? Who cares? It's been two years. So yeah, I think if you have... I think if the variety of, like, flags, if you have done them all correctly, that happens. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Not So Old Scratch. Alright, let, uh, let me split recording here. <laughs> 